Welcome to Polymer Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with a free daily petrochemicals news show. If you enjoy watching the video, at the end of today's daily news report, may I please request you to subscribe and to click on the bell icon. Also do remember to like this video by giving us a thumbs up. It encourages us to continue to bring you free informative news on a daily basis. I am Jake Wong, it is Thursday, July 27th. Let's start with energy and feedstock news. Crude oil prices dropped on Wednesday owing to lack of specific details concerning the support measures announced by China's top leaders to boost consumer confidence and revive the investment cycle in the world's second-largest crude oil-consuming country. Brent crude prices fell by 0.72 cents settling at $82.92 per barrel while WTI futures decreased by 0.85 cents settling at $78.78 per barrel. On Wednesday, OpenSpec napped the prices rose by $10 per metric ton to the $618 per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. On Wednesday, higher regional benzene feedstock values pushed styrene monomer prices higher in Asia. On Wednesday, FOB Korea SM prices were assessed at the $1,000 to $1,010 per metric ton levels, an increase of $15 per metric ton from Tuesday's assessed levels. CFR China SM prices on Wednesday were assessed at the $995 to $1,005 per metric ton levels, a day-on-day -day gain of $15 per metric ton. On Wednesday, ethylene prices gained in Southeast Asia while propylene prices remained stable in Asia. On Wednesday, ethylene and propylene prices gained in Europe. On Wednesday, ethylene and propylene prices rolled over in the United States. Let's take a look at futures on China Dalian Commodity Exchange for today. On July 27, 2023. LLDPE prices are lower by RMB 22 per metric ton at RMB 8157 per metric ton. PP prices are down by RMB 13 per metric ton at RMB 7345 per metric ton. PVC prices are lower by RMB 18 per metric ton at RMB 6080 per metric ton. MEG prices are down by RMB 11 per metric ton at RMB 4155 per metric ton. In plant news, Sinopec Hainan Petrochemical restarted its fluid catalytic cracker unit recently following a maintenance turnaround which commenced on July 9, 2023. Located at Yangpu, Hainan in China, the FCC unit has propylene production capacity of 200,000 metric tons per year. Our special newsreel today is sponsored by Nayara Energy an Indo-Russian oil refining marketing company that owns and operates Vadner Refinery located at Vadner, Gujarat, India with a capacity of 20 mmTPA. It owns India's second-largest single-site, state-of-the-art refinery, and one of the most modern and complex refineries in the country having businesses across the hydrocarbon value chain, from refining to retail, and is geared up to drive the vision of delivering crude to chemicals. That's all for today's Polymer News. Do remember to watch our daily news video tomorrow for further industry updates.